Marvel things are usually very secretive, and I'm sure this is as well. I'm sure you've got infrared sensors on you right now, tracking your every move, making sure you don't say the wrong thing. Yeah. But I do want to hear a little bit more about each of your characters, since yeah. these are characters that we don't really know as well, and um, <clears throat> and how they fit into the uh, the Jessica Jones uh, yeah. story. Uh, mm. My character in the show is Officer Simpson, and uh, he's a good, you know, black and very good. Cop, everything's black and white. Justice can be served easily. You know, he understands what who's good and who's bad, and uh, that kind of works in opposition to the way Jessica Jones yeah. works, because she deals in the world of gray. You know, everything she has differing opinions on, on on how justice should be served or executed, and so that causes us to have friction between the two of us. We don't work along uh, side one another so well. <laughs> uh, but, uh, interestingly enough, this character is actually isn't, doesn't appear in the alias. No, they, yeah, uh, it's a, yeah, a new he character. Does, he come, he, well, he, he appears in the Marvel comic universe, just in different oh, series. Okay. Yeah, he is a, a re, reinvention, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, okay. it's inspired yeah, I by that. other characters. That, right. mm. there's, a germ, there's a germ character out there, but right. he was a little bit too hard to handle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's just a psychotic, crazy guy. So, they, uh, so they, your, they your re- character is not quite to that point. No, no, no. They just re- they reshaped the character for the Marvel television series, mm-hmm. uh, and I think to to the benefit of the character and the benefit you know of Marvel themselves. You know, now they have a, another character thrown to the mess. Mm. Um, my character Hope is kind of an av- you know she goes to NYU. She's a student there. She's an athlete. But she gets involved in Jessica Jones' world because someone previously in Jessica Jones' life who had a really negative impact on her life. Um, enters my life um, and her first PI case involves my character and as a result leads to the re-emergence of this kind of dark person from Jessica's past. And we could guess who that might be. Which is Kilgrave. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Played by David Tennant, yeah. yeah. David Known as the Tennant. purple man yes. in the comics. Yeah. So she kind of caused, yeah, so David Tennant comes back into Jessica Jones, sorry, Kilgrave comes back, comes back into Jessica Jones' life through my character in a very tactical way. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nika? Um, I've got a kind of similar story to Will here where it's inspired by characters, the seed characters within the comics, but um, they've taken it in a different direction and where it's, he's, yeah, he's a new creation and, and the way that he interacts with Jessica's story is, um, it's, it's really hard to talk about it because if, I give away anything in it, then it'll really kind of spoil this amazing arc that he goes through. Of like, but I can say he starts in one place and ends somewhere very differently. And um, yeah, the drug addiction stuff was was pretty intense and dark to play. Like going there every day was was a lot of work to kind of take myself to that place on a daily basis and live in that world. So yeah, I mean, it was an experience. And his relationship with Jessica is is like a flip flop between victim and savior, and that's kind of their relationship. It's much more siblingly than. Um, oh, cool. Yeah. Than anything else. The last thing I'm curious about is, you know, a lot of times when when someone's doing a like a adaptation of adaptation of a comic, it's like, you know, did you read the source material or already start? There could be like thousands of issues. But with <laughs> Jessica Jones, especially with the uh, Alias series that it was based on by Brian Michael Bendis and Michael Gatos. It's like a finite amount of stuff. Um, in you know, getting ready for the series, did you guys check that out? And, and, and That's what I got myself for Christmas, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the whole, <laughs> the, all, all, all episodes. Um, sorry, all uh, editions of the book. Uh, my wife got it for me, but I bought it. Uh, yeah, that's first material was great though. Uh, so yeah, like every was, one of my sources. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, baby. Um, <laughs> but that source material is so deep and dark, and it's, it's you know the Max series is yeah. just incredible. And while, while I was reading it, like before the crisp, before crisp, like after Christmas, and during that break, um, I was like, what the hell kind of show are we gonna be making? Yeah. Yeah. This, is, this is like this is a really adult yeah. content. And I, I mm. couldn't imagine what the show was gonna be. And uh, I think the scripts really, they realize that the tone of that content, of course it doesn't follow the alias you know, page by page. Completely, yeah. But they have reinvented that. Oh yeah. And brought that, what that tone was out of those pages and onto the screen. Yeah. And that's why Netflix was so, you know, Netflix was such right an place, important yeah. factor. Yeah, it's like you had to go to that place to do the show justice, to do the comic books justice. It wouldn't, you know what I mean? It's so dark, you can't just half ass that. You gotta go all the way with it. Mm-hmm. And uh, one thing that I definitely <laughs> would say about um, 
the tone that struck within the show is there's like such a great balance between that heavy dark content that we're dealing with in every single episode and then this very self-aware brevity and comedy that comes in mm -hmm. in throughout and in a lot of the different characters and it's, it's it's one of those shows that is not afraid to make fun of itself in the fact that it is a superhero show yeah. and um i really personally enjoy that about it because there will be times when i'm like come on guys and then on any superhero show and in this show it's like the show does that for you so that mm -hmm. you can fully invest in it mm -hmm. but it's consistent with the comic large right humor there mm -hmm. yeah well, thanks so much for stopping by, guys. I know you have Thank to get you. to your panel, but I really appreciate it. We got Will Traval, Aaron Moriarty, and uh, Ika Darville, oh, yeah. which has been his name <laughs> since birth. And the idea that anyone would ever think it was anything else is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm Albert Chang. Thanks for watching CBR TV.